What's going on, everybody? So I know it has been a long time since I've posted an update, and I wish I could come up with all kinds of lists of excuses and how busy I am and what all's happening, but the truth is I just didn't prioritize it. So uh, I'm going to get back into prioritizing, putting out weekly inspirational content twice a week, and um, the fact is sometimes um, stuff just gets reprioritized, and that's no excuse. It just is what it is. You know, I, I, I didn't want to come with that busy thing be like, oh man, you know, my life is so busy. It's not busy. I just chose to do different things. Uh, but now I'm choosing to uh, come and add value. So uh, in light of this, you know, the last six weeks or so have been interesting. So in April, I ran a, a half marathon and my legs were just fried. And so um, I took a few weeks off um, to just get my legs rested. And it's funny how when you decide to take a week or two off, one or two weeks turns into four or six weeks. And uh, I just got back into running today uh, after about five weeks off. So, um, you know what, again, that's, that's a choice, no excuses. I, you know, it is what it is, but I just, you know, here I am, I'm a, I'm a coach and I want to be able to model authenticity and vulnerability. And uh, the truth is I'm not, I haven't gained any weight, you know, I'm not going back into terrible things. Uh, eating wise, it's just, you know, I just chose to not be active the last six weeks and now I'm choosing to get back into it. And I think it's important to not allow your life to be ran by guilt because guilt's a terrible motivator. Uh, it motivates for a short time, but it's not a good long-term motivator. And so today um, I got back out there and I'm committing myself again to, um, I'm blogging twice a week. Uh, I'm going to run twice a week and uh, I'm also going to lift two days a week. And for me, that's something that's sustainable. It's something that's fun. I've, I've mentioned this before, but you know, I'm not someone that like really at this point in my life have aspirations to be um, a fitness model or on the cover of any magazines or even necessarily shredded. I just want to model health and uh, I, I really try to do that. And so as you can see, I am a, uh, I'm a sweaty mess and uh, Julie and I got some fun, exciting things that we got to do today for our future. We'll blog more about that later. Uh, but I just wanted to come and give you an update to tell you that, um, you know, your success as a person truly is all about the habits that you set in motion every single day. And when you make that choice, like I did the last five or six weeks, to kind of let off the gas pedal a little bit, it's really, really easy for your habits to just kind of sky, uh, to, to just um, really shoot any progress that you had made. Now, again, is it possible to gain it back? 100%. But, you know, when I work with people that are trying to be healthy, it's so funny because, like, the first time they make a commitment, it, it, they're like, man, this isn't too bad. And then all of a sudden they go off. And, and allow old habits to regain control a little bit, and then they try to jump back on, and it's harder. Um, the more time you have away from healthy habits that you've established in your life, when you try to gain them back again, and you try to re-engage with health and re-engage with good habits, whether it's to blog or whether it's to run or whether it's to eat better or go to the gym or spend time with your kids, whatever it is, um, we kind of live on this trajectory that life is always going to pull us back to normal. Life is always going to pull us back to average. Life is always going to pull us back to being lazy. And you know what? Lazy is not always bad. But, but I just made the conscious cho choice today that, you know what? I, I need to get back into this for me um, and really start to chase the next thing in my life. For the, for the last three or four months, uh, it was easy. I was chasing being ready for a half marathon, and I never missed a training day because I had something that I was chasing. All of a sudden, when the half marathon was over, I didn't have anything to chase anymore, and now all of a sudden, uh, my habits started to, to fade back into normal. And so it's important to have something to chase because what you're desiring, your why, uh, really does set the course of your habits, which will then uh, change your actions, which will then determine your outcome. So uh, what is it that you're chasing, and how can you align your habits to meet up with that? That's my challenge for you today.